Okay, are we ready for some drawing? Let's warm up with a rainbow. A rainbow, huh? That's one heck of a warm up. Hmm, I know. My bag of stuff can finally come in handy. Let's see. Oh. Hmm. Aw, hey, little guy. Oh, no! <laughs> Aw, good boy. Here's what I was looking for. Ready for some magic? Watch these colors turn into a whole rainbow. Just gotta make a few blocks. There. Done! Well, almost. Nice! Let's put this thing to work. Is this satisfying or what? It's all about working with what you've got, people! There! Ooh, that's a little messy. Now peel off all the tape. Nothing like a clean, smooth line. Well, make that three smooth lines. Ah, done! Thanks for the help! Pretty impressive, isn't it? I guess it's fine. I got this. Hello? Do I have to do it all myself? So pretty. Go. I need space to get creative here. Interesting. Haha. <laughs> Obviously. Everybody you watch and learn. It's pretty with all the colors, isn't it? Just wait till you see what's next. See? I get to work sometimes. And once that's all finished, you're left with gorgeous rainbow sand. Look at those vibrant hues. Ta-da! That was actually pretty awesome. Oh, I'm definitely not done yet. It's like a little dancing rainbow guy. Gives it a little personality, don't you think? Well? They're both interesting. Which is why you're both winners! Uh, that's fine. Um, is he gonna give us our challenge or what? Uh-huh. Oh! Gadget! Got it? A gadget, huh? Oh, say no more. I know just the guy. <laughs> Aw, there it is! He's so cute, right? But I can make some adjustments. That's good. Now let's get to work, shall we? And start! Yes, will do. Am I seeing what I think I am? Yep, he's pretty awesome. I know. Now draw away, little guy. But since every artist needs a little inspo, here's yours. Think you can handle a little kitty? No problem. You can always depend on this thing to make the perfect circle. Recognize this thing yet? Just give him a minute, he'll get there. Look at all those perfect lines! What on earth? I don't approve! Can robots even make real art? Looks like it. Ah, chew! Looks about done. And needless to say, it's perfect. See? Well, two can play this game! I just need the right shape! Let's see here… Just a little bit of assembly… And there! Just a piece of plastic and a picture on your phone. And poof! You can trace it! Pretty inventive, isn't it? Being resourceful always works out. Almost done! He's turning out pretty cute! I think… <laughs> Lame! So, who wins? For obvious reasons, Naomi! No way! Turns out being creative is the way to go! Stupid robot! You belong in the garbage bin! You hear that?! No. You are the garbage. 
What? You drew something for me? Is this supposed to be funny? Technology has failed me today! Well, now what? Hello up there? Oh, of course. The next round is origami. Phew! Origami? Okay. Good thing I carry paper with me at all times. Just kidding, my butler gave it to me. I prefer paper that's actually worth something. And gold's even better. Here you go. Whoa. Is that real? I'd better get to work. All right, here goes nothing. Things are getting hot in here. Whoa! It turned to gold! But why stop there? In you go! Phew! Oh gosh! Yep, it definitely worked! Fantastic! Mwah! Miss Betty? Thanks, chef. That's so unfair! I wonder if I have some paper lying around. It's not gold, but it'll do. Ready to witness some magic, guys? Yikes. That paper is so wrinkled. Hilarious, I know. But I can turn things around. Just can't leave it on too long. Good as new! Whatever. I've got other things to worry about. Just a few careful folds, and this will look anything like a piece of paper. Now just draw a couple of marks here. It looks strange now, but it'll all make sense at the end. Recognize it yet? It's only the prettiest girl in the world! Huh? Just be patient, will you? I just have a few more lines here. Now for the same thing on this side. Just keep folding flats up and drawing in the blank. There. All done. If you say <laughs> so. Color, please. Now she can dance. See? I can make all her limbs move. <laughs> I can't compete with that! Or can I? Just make a fold up top, and again in the other direction. And keep going all the way down. Then draw a straight line here. Then keep it going down this way. Then close it so it's a square. Can you tell what it is yet? And in here, draw a little bunny! How cute is this thing, come on! And he needs a little bear friend. Adorable, right? Don't forget to color things in. Orange and blue always pop. Now for our animal friends. The colors really bring them alive. One last thing. Then fold the paper down. Ta-da! All done! This is tough. But that ballerina… You win! Well, what about my cute creation? Let's see. That's the right perspective, I think. Hey, Grandpa. What do you think of my painting? Great job. Good use of color. Oh, look at these colors. I'm gonna need them. Uh, don't you need brushes? What are you doing over there? And done with the paint! What do you think? Uh, it's okay, I guess. I'm not done! I'll just take this plastic sheet and drag it down. Ooh, look at it go! Check it out now and tell me what you think! Oh my gosh, it's… It's… Wow! It's just really great, Grandpa! I love it! Okay, I have my tape ready to go. This end can go here. Time to start my drawing. Oof, it's harder than I thought. 
Hmm, I need this color now, I think. Careful, don't mess this line up. This is turning out absolutely terrible! Hey, wait! Grandpa has that tape over there. Yoink! I'm gonna borrow this, Grandpa! Alright, got my strip of tape. Now to add my colored markers. And now I'll just fold over the tape and hold them in place. Yeah, this is totally gonna work and be awesome! Time to make a better rainbow! Yes! It worked! I'm a genius! Wow! Good job! What if we could do it with even more markers? Ha! So many of them! What kind of rainbow could we make? Are you sure that's gonna be safe? There's no safety in art, my boy! Here we go! Let's see what we've got! Who says rainbows only need to be an arc? I'll just go over here and then sweep up here. And now to head over to this side of the paper. And then to bring it back together where I started! Whoa! Done! Take a look at the finished project! It looks kinda like a bird! Wow! Art sale! Get some new art! Yikes! No thank you. No! Another rejection! Ah! Stranger! Help! Attack! Calm down. What's up? No one wants to buy my artwork. Grandpa, what are you even doing in that trash can? What do you plan to do with that garbage? You still don't trust me? Well, okay then. You'll have to watch. I'm gonna set this lid down on paper. And now to start spray painting the paper. I just want to coat the whole thing. Don't be afraid to cover the lid. And now to add some white paint down here in the corner. Want to just fill this whole space. And then it's plastic bag time. I'll dab the white with this bag. It'll pull the paint up a bit. There we go. And now I'll speckle it with some more white paint. Time to take the lid off. There we go. It's done. Ta-da! Wow, Grandpa, it's incredibly beautiful. I can't believe how easy it was for you to make this. Here, you can have this. I want that painting! Take all my money! Okay, I think this piece is finished. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think this might be a masterpiece. I'll just set it over here on the easel. Wow, I love it! Ooh, bubbles! I think I deserve a bit of a reward! Yes! Look how many there are! I love bubbles! Hey! I'm back. Oops! I knocked that painting off! Oh! It was my masterpiece! The best I've ever done! Wait a second, Bubbles? This gives me a great idea! I've got a plastic bottle. I'm gonna cut off the top. And now I'll stretch a little net over the opening. Next up, I'll pour soap into this glass tray. That should be enough. Now to dip the net end into the soap. Now the soap has stuck to the nut. Time to add some pink to it. I'll drip some blue. Some red, too. And then yellow, of course. Primary colors, check. And now it's time to start blowing some bubbles. I'll just make sure I'm close to the canvas. And now I'll pop some of these bigger ones. There we go! I think the work is done. Hey, what do you think about this? Whoa! How did you do that? I just took inspiration from your bubbles. I made it for you. Thank you so much, Grandpa. I love it! Bubbles are truly great! Line up my perspective. Looks good. All right, I think I'm done. Better compare it to the original. Oh, this didn't turn out at all. There he is. I'll just sneak up on him. He's gonna love this! Oh, what's that? Ooh, that's rough. He must be having a rough day. Oh, look at those lights over there! That gives me a great idea! I've got this box frame, so I'll need to open it. Now I've got this little fairy lights. I'll stretch them around inside the box frame. And done! Time to return the back! Wow, this is great! Grandpa! 
Lights in a box? What's the point? Oh, Grandpa, come on, let me show you. Take your picture and put it on top of the glass. Oh, I see. Wow, look at it glow! I get it! It's a tracing box! Now you can recreate that picture! Alright, time to give this another try! I can just follow all the lines that show through! Wow, this is working so well! It's almost easy! I've just got to finish the last little details! There we go, that should do it! A masterpiece at last! And all I needed was a frame and some lights! Thank you so much for your gift! You're welcome! Oh, painting. You might be my most favorite one of all time! Ah! Grandpa! Watch out! Don't knock over another one of my paintings! Seriously, that could have been a disaster. What if he had actually brushed against it? Oops! Look at that! I got paint all over my suit jacket! Oops! My painting! No! Oh, what a nightmare. I couldn't stand it if that had happened. Oh, I think I've got another great idea. Excuse me, Gramps. I'm gonna need this. Okay, I've got the hairspray. Now to put it to work. I'll just add a layer to my painting. It's gotta be enough to actually coat it all, though. There. Now that it's dry, it's completely protected. Look, no paint came off at all. It's finally safe from grandpa mishaps. Oh! Hey, you are right! It worked! There's nothing on my jacket! Phew! Good thing I thought ahead. My painting is safe and sound. Yes! Another toilet paper tube! Come with me and complete my tower! Yes! My castle is almost done! It's glorious! Grandpa? Are you in here? I can't find my glasses! I can't see anything without them. I'm practically blind! Stop waving your arms around like that! No! My beloved castle! It has crumbled! All my work has been reduced to cardboard tubes once more! Listen, here are your glasses. Take them and be gone! You sound upset. What happened? All my dreams have come to an end. He looks so sad. Hey, wait! What if I could fix things? I've got a toilet paper tube. Now I'll just fold it so it lays flat. And then slice it into circles. Perfect! It worked just like I planned! Now for the next step. The glue gun. I'll just add a little dollop here at the end. Good! Now I need a second ring. This one will do. I'll glue this end to the other end. Good! That's just how I wanted it to look! Now to continue on and keep adding more rings! There we go! I've made an entire circle of rings! Now to add even more, in between the first ones. There we go! And now I'll paint it with this pink paint! Grandpa! Look what I made for you! I know how much you like art! What? You made that out of toilet paper tubes? I did! And look! It can hang right here on the wall as decoration! There it goes! So, what do you think? It's astounding! I love it! Aw, oh, come on, honey. <laughs> Modeling clay is like a dollar at the craft store. You don't need to play with chewing gum. Though it kind of reminds me of pasta. In a weird way. And then again, <laughs> when it all comes together, it does make something beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Just don't touch it. Ew. <laughs> it's much oh. easier to capture a butterfly in art than actually catching it. But maybe that's <gasps> not saying much. Maybe she has an idea to help. And it involves harnessing the power of finger painting. Just press down until you make a wing-like shape. And you only need to make half. Fold the paper, and you get the whole butterfly. Of course, you can add details, like an outline. And since it's already folded, it flutters by. Wow. <laughs> by the way, we have a secret bonus episode for you. Make sure you watch till the end. 
cool. Drawing in the sand. Huh, what pretty hearts. Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess that wasn't sand. It was huh? dust. Is it time for spring cleaning already? Well, maybe we can find some other uses for this box. Just add some lights and a clear cover. Then you can dump some real sand. Probably better than dust anyway. And it turns out that that sand art idea wasn't too far off, was it? You can change the picture. Hmm, are those palm trees or antennae? In fact, it can be good accompaniment when telling a story. You just gotta love performance <laughs> art. Whether you want to take his photo or recreate his image in art, this dog's a pretty good model. Have you seen those hand turkeys that kids make? You can actually switch things up by changing fingers. It's a dog! But nothing says we can't add those little details, like a collar, or eyes, or a nose. Not to mention adding color. At school, you want to look your best. Your admirers grow to expect it. Just look at that popsicle t-shirt. Don't worry. Think of a simple shirt as a canvas and a bear as your brush. Was anyone else expecting her to just pin that bear to the shirt? Then again, the other girl would notice if it went missing. Of course, she'll notice it's covered in paint. Well, you look at that. A single flower can become a bouquet. Oh, man. Such precision lines. She's done this before, I can tell. I wonder what presents she'll get from fans. Time for selfies. Granted, it's always time for selfies. At least, until the battery dies. Don't worry. We'll do what the ancients did and just draw pictures. Tracing can help. Hmm, looks like results may vary. Yeah, tracing can only do so much. Ooh. Well, maybe she's got a career in drawing caricatures. Ow. Time for our next art project. Which means, nighttime's over, honey. Time to wake up. Wow, she's turning a regular marker into an airbrush. Think it came to her in a dream? Oh man, have you ever seen such a sparkly tree before? Let's hang it up. It's practically fridge worthy. And now it's time for everyone's favorite uh -huh. new game. Try to guess what's real and what's the drawing. <laughs> Nobody said it had to be the candies. The hand was fake the whole time. Thanks for playing. What museum lets you bring in snacks? Ooh. Must be one of those you break it, you buy it sort of deals. Of course, let's get into the spirit of art and make some of our own. Take the Starbucks mermaid. Now she's a burglar. The bank kind. Probably shouldn't let the art kind loose in a museum. And what about these golden arches? With the wave of a marker, it suddenly transforms into Donald Duck. By the way, have you ever tried to do Donald Duck's voice? It's not easy. Trust me, I've tried. Okay, that's enough Ooh. art for today. Uh-oh, they wow. think it's a display. Want to tell them it's up for auction? This poppet Ooh. toy is so pretty and colorful, like a rainbow. Hmm. This other one looks like you ran it in the washing machine. Of course, oh. we can always add color. We want the colors to come out in a row, so we'll need to paint the paintbrushes. Of course, why stop at paint? All works of art are better with glitter. Just add it before it dries. Wow. Whoa. Welcome to art class. Look at these brushes. Whoa, so cool. They're like super exclusive. All I've got is this old one. Wait a second, I have an idea. I'll snip off some of Meg's hair. She'll never know. Now I can attach it to my brush handle. That looks good. Let's paint! 
Huh? That looks familiar. <laughs> hey! Knock it off! There's only one thing for it. I'll press these pens together. The ink will start to mix. That should do it. Where was I? Oh yeah. It's time for an art challenge! Pretty cool, huh? Let's do this! What just happened? I thought that was gonna be a bumpy landing. Ooh, that's a juicy booger. Hmm. Huh? What was that? Was that an elephant? That gives me an idea! This is your first challenge! Really? Okay, I can do that. I just need to think about it. Oh, I know. Give me that nerd! Let go! Don't make me bite you! He was pretty strong for a geek. This is just what I need. Let's do this. There's so many numbers to choose from. Got it! This'll be pretty easy. I'll go with the number five. I'll arrange them like this on the page. Then I'll join them up. This'll be the elephant's trunk. Now I can draw the legs. So far, so good. It's really taking shape. Next, I'll draw the body. I'll give it a cute tail. Now I'll draw the finer details. I'll need an eye. This elephant has had a pedicure. I'm almost finished. That should do it. This is hard. Whoa! She's done already? Hmm. Aw, I've been chewing on my pencil. I've got a spare. Aw, what'll I do now? Time to fly! I'll grab some sand. I better go. Vampires are not good in the sun, but I've got everything I need right here. This is gonna look great. I'll use my finger to draw the outline of an elephant. Who needs a pencil? I'm pretty happy with this. It was so easy. My work here is done. Hey, nice elephant. You did a great job. <clears throat> Ooh, the teacher. Meg wins this round. Woohoo! I did it! You're kidding! All that flying for nothing. Ah, uh, such beautiful flowers. Mother Nature is spoiling us. Look, a beautiful butterfly. Huh? Where's it going? It's so graceful. What are we supposed to do? Oops, silly me. Hold on. I want you to draw the butterfly. Ah, okay, I can do that. Hmm, let me think. This shouldn't be hard. Okay, let's do this. I'll need my art supplies. Everything I need is in here. I'll use this brush. I'll paint the best butterfly ever. Just you wait. It'll blow your mind. I'll paint one side of it. Oh, hello. Whoa, it's amazing! Oh no! My painting! I've ruined it! This is all the butterfly's fault. Hang on. I think I can fix it. I'll squirt paint onto a sheet of glass. Then I'll use a sponge to spread it out. I want an even layer. I want to cover the glass completely. Next, I need a cotton swab. I'll use this to draw a butterfly. That looks great! Now I'll lay paper on top of it. I'll press it down gently. Then I can slowly lift it off. Wow! It's perfect! It's even better than I imagined! I'm a genius! I've never seen a butterfly like it! Wow! Wow! You did that? Hmm, I need to up my game! Oh! There must be something in here I can use! Ugh, it's just a lot of junk. That's disappointing. Wait a second! I've got it! I'll fold the book page over. Then I'll start to cut it. I'll take my time. I want to make a wing shape. Just like this. When I open it up, it's a butterfly! But I'm not finished. I'll draw around the edge with a black pen. Then I can start to decorate it. I'll draw a pattern for this wing. That's the outline done. Now it's time to add some color. Pink is the perfect color. I can put this to one side. Now I'll twist the end of a safety pin. Phew. This is like a workout. I want to bend it back slightly. That's just what I want. I'll loop a rubber band around it. And pull it tight. That looks good. Next, I'll need my paper clip. I'll need to straighten it out. Well, as straight as I can get it. Now I'll place in the rubber band. I'll bend the paper clip in the middle. That's perfect! And I'll push it through the top of the safety pin. I'll spread the ends of the paper clip out. This'll be the antenna. Then I can add my butterfly wings. But that's not the best part. I'll give it a twist. It'll fly when I let go! Wow! So cool! It's 
the best thing I've made! What? How'd you do that? It's amazing, isn't it? Wow! It flew back to me! It must really like me! Hmm. Any wings? Really? Woohoo! <laughs> Ugh, this isn't fair. Uh, what's she doing? Mmm, juicy pineapple. It's so good. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, you're still here. Here's your next challenge. Oh, please. This will be easy. I just need to decide what to use. It's a tough decision. I don't know. Mm. Aw, I feel like she's teasing me. I'm so hungry. I wish I had a tasty treat. Wait, I have an idea. I still have something left over from lunch. Mmm, a yummy orange. Delish. I'm looking forward to this. My mouth is watering. Meh, I'll have all of it. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Eddie! No eating in class! But you? The pineapple? Oops, my bad. I better put this in the trash. Hmm. Hold on. This has given me an idea. I can use the orange peel. I'll need the cap from a bottle. I'll push it into the peel. I want to make little circles. It's just like a cookie cutter. Now for the next stage. I'll need a circle of card. I'll make a sketch of an oval on it. Then I'll tear green card. This is a great stress relief. I just need to make small strips. I think that's enough. Now I can stick it to the card. I'll arrange it around the top of the oval. I'll take the circles from the orange peel and I'll place them inside the oval. I'll layer them like this. I want to alternate them. It'll give a great effect. That should do it! A tasty looking pineapple! Hmm. Huh? You finished already? I'm pretty happy with this! Check it out! Ugh, so it's like that, huh? I can't let her win! Wait a moment. I have a great idea. I'll lay the tape over a black canvas. I'll leave the top part empty. Now I need gold paint. I have expensive taste. I'll paint the spaces between the tapes. But not all of them. I'll paint in an oval shape. Then I'll carefully remove the tape. Don't want to ruin it. Wow, that looks great. Now I'll switch to green paint. I want to paint leaves. This will be the top of my pineapple. Take a look at this. You can applaud now. It's a masterpiece. Ooh, good job, Betty! Tell me something I don't know. I guess I'm just talented. It's over to the teacher! Interesting. The winner is both of you! I won! Woohoo! Uh, we won! Who's the prettiest bird? You are! I know. Let's get you out of here. Be free, little birdie. Isn't it wonderful? Wow. I never knew this was a wildlife class. I'm feeling inspired. I hope I do it justice. What? Aw, oh, come on! Everybody's a critic! <laughs> that's so funny! Wait, are you kidding me? Ugh, that stupid bird! <laughs> the bird isn't a fan of high fashion! <laughs> Get it off me! Hey, it's time for an art challenge! Uh, where is she? Should… should we leave? I guess so. Wait, hello? Wait, uh, where am I? I was catching up on my beauty sleep. Not that I need it. We're waiting! Huh? Oh, the challenge! I, uh, here you go. Hmm, this could be difficult. What am I gonna do? Aha! I've got it! Hey, what are you doing? I need to investigate. I'll be right back. So long! This seems like a good place to start. Nope. Nothing so far. Wait! That's what I'm looking for! That is one big spider's web! And it's wow. perfect! I better get to work. I can't stand around all day. I'll need glue. I'll spray it onto the web. But I need one more thing. I'll spray the glue onto some black card. It needs to be super sticky. That should be enough. I hope this works. I'll place the card onto the web. Then I'll put a frame over it. Now, a pull it! Wow, it's amazing! The teacher's gonna love it! Why is this so hard? I'm back! What do you think? It's a real web! I made sure there were no spiders! How does she do that? Oh, now it's on! I need to make a call. Hello? It's an emergency. 
Ma'am, this is for you. Chef made it especially for you. Is this a joke? Do I have to explain everything? Just eat it. I, uh, I knew that. Why didn't you say so? I'll start with the banana. Mmm, it's delicious. So fresh. That was good. I need a new job. Hmm, I can use this plate. I'll start scoring it with the back of my fork. I'll make a shape on the plate. That'll do. Now I'll need black paint. I'll brush it onto the plate. It's revealing my scoring! It looks just like a spider's web! Ta-da! I know, it's great. We're about to find out who's the best. This is hard. But Annie wins! Woohoo! This is my happy dance! I'm in the zone! Here's the next task! Make some yummy ice cream! What are you waiting for? This book is so interesting. Ahem. Did you hear me? Get started! Ugh. Let's get this over with. I've got more important things to do. Hey, do you mind? Oops. Sorry. Just put it in the trash. What? No way! I'm not your butler! Wait. This is giving me an idea. I'll cut a piece of cardboard into an ice cream shape. But I still need to add details. I'll start with the waffle cone. This should be pretty easy. Then I'll stick the cotton pads to it. I'll layer them up. But it looks a little… vanilla. I'll add color to it. I'll squirt watered-down paint onto the pads. I'll use different colors. And you've gotta have sprinkles! I've made these from pieces of paper. And that should do it! It looks good enough to eat! Mmm, tasty! It looks good, huh? Mm. Okay, that's pretty impressive. But I can beat that. I would love an ice cream right now. It's showtime! Butler! That's never happened before. Hey, get in here! You screamed, ma'am. You took your time! Remember you're replaceable! Of course, ma'am. Hmm, what have we got here? A waffle? I can work with that. I just need to make a few alterations. I'll make some cuts at the bottom. I want to create a point. Then I'll make a cut in the middle. A little waffle triangle. I'll place it onto a tray. And add bananas. This'll be my ice cream. I'll just stack the slices up. Then I'll add strawberries. And sprinkles, of course. They're so colorful. But I'm not done. I have a cup of juicy strawberries. And yummy blueberries. And finally, strawberry syrup. The teacher's gonna love it. Wait until she smells this. She won't be able to resist. <laughs> Any second now. Ooh, something smells good. Real good. Oh, the challenge. There's only one winner. Betty! Nah, nah. I still like my ice cream. Have a cool idea for an art piece, but not sure how to tackle it? Don't worry. We've got some handy little tricks to turn regular ideas into true masterpieces. Now let's get those creative juices flowing! Hmm. My crush has me feeling inspired. I sure hope he appreciates this. Here goes nothing! Uh, what's up, David? Nice. What'd she write to me? Yep. I've got some feelings about this. <laughs> Be still, my heart. Let's see here. Gah! My books! Sorry. Let me help you with those. Oh. So soft. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, my books? Oh, right. So… Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm in love. Wait. Just one last look. Yep. This guy is really something. Ah. Uh, oh, that's what I'll say. Nothing like reminding your sweetie about the moment you first laid eyes on each other. The hard part's over. Nice. Wow. I remember! Such a sweetheart! Love you, baby. Prepping for your art project is all part of the process. A messy one at that. 
Anyway, time to turn this idea into art. First stroke is always the best. Add a little bit of blue here. It's really coming together. Or is it? This is terrible! Nope! Good thing I have lots more paper! Ooh, smooth. This is worse than the first one! Ugh! Come on now, focus! You've gotta be kidding me. Why can't I paint a stupid flower?! Alright. Stay calm. Deep breath in. I can do this. I am fully capable. It's go time. Easy. Easy. Shoo! Huh? That was unfortunate. But wait a minute. What an interesting shape! I can work with this! Using your paintbrush in different ways can help you create entirely unique designs. And in my case, petals! Once you've gone all the way around, add some green for the leaves and stems. See how it's all coming together? Careful strokes go a long way. You can even attach these two. It fills out the space quite nicely. I knew I could do it! Whoa! You drew all this on your own? Why don't you have it, Annie? I've got more creating to do. And this time, I'm taking a whole new approach. But don't worry, we're still staying on theme here. See how these strokes make the leaves really come alive? Don't be afraid to take your time with these. You can even make grass, see? But the next part gets a little more complicated. I can use some puffy paints like these to create all new fun textures with a balloon! How satisfying was that? Now use it like a stamp. And you'll get these fun, totally unique flowers. Don't forget this one. Cool, right? Awesome! What do you think? <gasps> David! How did you even come up with that? My secret ingredient! Aw, this picture sure is cheery. Good enough to be framed. And why stop there? Just need some inspo. Mm-hmm. Right. You said what? Oh, Susan, you're bad! Ugh, I don't know. Um, excuse me? My paper! Oh! My bad. Oops. Look what you've done! It's ruined! Hey! Can I show you something? Ever hear of a happy accident? This is one of them. Whoa! Me? Yeah! You can do different sizes, too! Amazing! Let's do it! How many do you think can fit on here? As many as you want! Things are getting crazy! You can use pretty much anything. As long as it's circular, of course. You think we've done enough yet? It sure looks cool, doesn't it? A pie! My little artist! Okay, this spot looks substantial. Yeah? The trees, nature, what have you. The heat is on! You bet! I don't know… What? Hey, stop looking at mine! Whatever, fine! I'll be over here then. What can I paint? Bingo! He's adorable! I hope David didn't see him. I saw it first! Uh-huh. 
May the best bird ranger win. A few skillful circles can go a long way. Just have to know where to add the lines. Nice, right? But some color will really make it pop. Yellow is such a happy color, isn't it? It's perfect for such a cheerful guy. And how about some green? Such a peaceful hue. And add some blue for a real treat for the eyes. Doing the edges first is always best. It really rounds things out, doesn't it? Almost done. Just a couple of finishing touches. And that's how it's done, folks! A true masterpiece! Don't you agree? Yep, I'm pretty pleased. What is that? I just needed an extra hand! Turns out, a hand is all you really need. Well, that and a few strategically placed dots and lines. Can you see the bird face yet? Don't worry, it'll all come together soon. These branches ought to give it away. And here are its cute little feet. A little greenery? I think it's quite peaceful. Can you see the bird now? I'm just so creative, aren't I? Well, if you really want to see it… Not too shabby. Oh. I guess they're both pretty great. Should we ask the teacher? Seriously? I hope he's okay. Seems like he's just fast asleep. Hey! Ooh. All done, huh? Great job. Now just give me, uh, five more minutes. Alrighty then. I need something that'll turn some heads. And I know just the thing. Complimentary hues for the win! But it's still missing something. But what? Ugh, this ball is so dinky. Whoa! That thing's blowing my mind! Mom! Oh, not now. Okay. You still have a lot of pain left. Which leaves room for me to play. Thank you! I just don't know what to do. Okay, I'll try a little. Hey! Where did my paint palette go? David? Is that you? Excuse me? Look! I did this! I call it pond water. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. You want to face paint? Give it a try, David. Whoa! Again! Fun, right? You can say that again! Yeah? What if I use my finger, too? Incoming! Ha! Ah, blue dots coming in, people! But now for my favorite color! Woohoo! That's it! Look, mom! Well, isn't this incredible? But let's try one more trick. Symmetry can sure be beautiful! And to prove that to be true, you created it all on your own! It's a gorgeous butterfly! This line will really make it come to life, along with the outline of the wings. Other side! There! Just admire this pure beauty! And that's just the beginning, son! Well, I better get ready for class. Whoa! This is so cool! Hmm, what hairstyle should we choose? Not green. I think I know! We'll go for number three! Ugh, what is that supposed to be? Let go! It's mine! I want to see it! Whoa! What happened? You're finally here at last! Welcome to the art challenge! I guess we better get started! First up, we have… Drum roll, please! 
A rainbow! Wow, I love rainbows! Let's just get on with this. I need something for my bag. Ooh, I'll check my bag. What have I got? That's your bag? Aha, I can use it for my drawing. Hey, I forgot I had this. Mmm, it still smells good. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna throw up. Eh, I'm just messing. I just need a pen. A diamond encrusted pen, of course. Ugh, where did this come from? Mmm, that gives me an idea. Hey, Kendall! Get it away from me! Oh, so gross. Okay, I'll start by folding the paper. I'll place the pencil tin on it and use it to draw a circle. Then I'll draw a face on it. I'll start with the eyes. I'll split the smile over the folds. What a lovely smile. Now I'll open the paper up. I'll use my money as a ruler. I'll join up the face. Then it's time to add some color. I want it to be as bright as possible. And I'll draw a rainbow inside the mouth. Now I can fold the paper back over. It looks great! Check it out! It's pretty good, huh? Wow! My jaw is dropping! Brittany hasn't even started yet. There must be something I can use. Oh hey, I found my old chalk. I can definitely use this. I just need my trusty hammer. I'll quickly make a butterfly stencil. I'll place it on a sheet of black card. Next, I'll put the chalk on it. And then, it's bashing time! Oh yeah, that feels good! This really works out my tension. Now I can remove the stencil. I'm left with a beautiful butterfly. Excellent work, girls! I know! It's such a tough decision, but Brittany wins! Really? Wow, thanks! Ugh, that's so unfair! Hey, I like your drawing. Hey, romance is in the air! Here's your next challenge. It's a love heart. And to inspire you, I have a special guest. Take a look over there. Hello, ladies. I call this my smoldering look. Gee, I'm so glad I brought that wind machine. Ah, he's cute. Hey, I saw him first. Nuh-uh. I need to win this round. I'll have to create something special. Give me the love hearts. I want more. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm not good under pressure. Here you go. This is just what I need. Brian is so dreamy. We'd be so happy together. Okay, let's do this. I'll start with a romantic message. I think that says exactly how I feel. Now I'll go around it with a gold pen. I'll add some stars. I wrote messages on the other hearts. Hmm, I think I'll choose this one. I'll fold the sides. And press them down to create a crease. Now I'll fold the top over and make the small envelope. I'll use a sticker to seal it. I'll put it with the rest. It's a little collection of love letters. It makes the cutest key ring. Whoa, that's pretty good. Hmm, this might be tougher than I thought. I'm struggling to think of something. Okay, here goes. I'll draw a love heart. But it's not a conventional love heart. It's different, but it looks good. Hello there. I'm loving the hobo look. And this drawing? Say magnifique. A rose for a rose. Wow, such a gentleman. And what's this? Is that for me? Beautiful and talented. What a combo. I have something for you. Chill, my heart! Yeah, I get that reaction a lot. Ahem. Anything for me? Be quiet, this is my time! This is handy. Just a little joke. The next challenge is… A brush. Uh, where's Brittany? Don't look at me. Whatever, let's start without her. Go ahead. This should be easy. Hello, I want an order. What great service. I love shopping. It's my favorite hobby. Okay, let's get this out of the box. How did it even fit in here? Ugh, it's heavy. But it's perfect. I don't need this box anymore. Sorry I'm late. Oh my gosh, is that toilet paper? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, right. Oops. Well, that was embarrassing. So what did I miss? Wait. I just need to do something. Please stop. Oh yeah, that feels good. Oh, I can use this. I don't need a paintbrush. I'll snap it in half. Then I'll roll it in toilet paper. I want to keep it nice and tight. 
Next, I'll wrap it in green plastic. Just like this. Once that's done, I need a sticker. This will hold it in place. It looks good. I'll place it into this clear tube. I think it's ready. I'll dip the first swab into pink paint. It matches the color of the plastic. And then I'll brush it onto the paper. When I'm done with that color, I just swap the swabs around. It's time for some blue. I'll let the paint absorb into the swabs. And I can get back to creating my art. What the? So it's like that, is it? You ain't seen anything yet. I have big plans. I'm about to create a masterpiece. I'm finished! Uh… What? Why would you do that? You… Lose! Come on! The brush slipped! Sorry. Gotta keep my potassium levels up. This is the next challenge. All this work is making me hungry. Get me something to eat. Ooh, this is more like it. It all looks so delicious. What should I try first? Whoa, that does look good. I want it. Get your grubby hands off it. I don't want you touching my food. Come on, you won't eat all of it. Fine, I'll give you an egg. Catch. Whoa, easy. Don't drop it. Phew, that was close. Thanks for this. I'll crack the egg into a bowl. I want to keep the yolk separate. I'll put that in another bowl. I'll use my fingers to break it. Hmm, it feels all slimy. Next, I'll add a small amount of oil. Just a little more. Now I can stir it. Next, I'll fill a syringe with the mixture. It makes it easier to work with. And it's not as messy. I'll add the egg mixture to powdered paint. I don't need a lot. Just a few drops. I'll use a brush to mix the egg and paint together. That looks about right. Now I'll take the eggshell and crush it slightly. I want to break it into small pieces. I'll take this piece of the shell and I'll paint it blue. I love this color. I've drawn a vase and I'll stick the shell onto it. Then I'll add flowers. Mmm, I couldn't eat another bite. Wait, maybe I eat too much? Whoa! Oops, my bad. Better out than in. I don't want to waste any food. Hmm, maybe I can create something with it. I've painted a sheet of card blue. And I'll use the broccoli as a brush. I'll dab paint over the paper. I'll use different colors. It gives an amazing leaf effect. Check it out! Ooh, that's pretty. I love it. Very creative. How do I decide? It's tough, but Kendall wins! Yes! I'm the greatest! Okay, take it easy, Picasso. Whee! Look at it go! Take a look at your next challenge. How exciting! Are you kidding? I've no idea what we're supposed to do with that. Aw, there's a loose thread on my shirt. There's another one. That's all I need. Hmm, maybe these might come in useful. Ooh, makeup! Maybe Kendall won't notice. This is my chance. Just act natural. Nothing to see here. The perfect crime. I'll cover the thread in string. Then I'll put it on my notebook. I'll arrange it in a wave pattern. Then I'll close the notebook over. I'll pull the thread. It leaves behind an abstract painting. It looks great! Wow, that's actually quite impressive. Wait, Brittany! Yes? Oh, uh, how did that get there? Keep it. I'll use this brush. I'll paint my canvas black. But I'll stop halfway. Then I'll apply a line of glue. I'll brush the glue over the black paint and the blank canvas. Just like this. Before it sets, I'll sprinkle glitter over it. I need to be quick. Phew, this is hard work. Huh? Is that gold? That'll look great on my painting. Even my dandruff is rich. I should buy better shampoo, though. I'll place a heart stencil onto the canvas. And grab a can of spray paint. I'll go over the stencil with it. It's so vibrant! I'll carefully remove the stencil. Wow, I'd hang that on my wall. It's good, isn't it? Oh yeah, wait until you see this. Whoa! My eyes! I can't see! Put it down! That's better. Wow, it's wonderful! It is pretty special. Give me a warning next time. Whoa, look at all this stuff. That's the end of the challenge. It's time to announce the winner. Me! Me! Pick me! I'm so nervous! Who will it be? It's… 
Kendall! I don't believe it! I tried my best. Well done. Hmm. Wait. We should share the prizes. Really? You mean it? Woohoo! Uh, I'm not really a hugging person. It's so beautiful. Art is the real winner.